Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Phil? Hey, John. Uh, two quick uh, follow-ups. One, um, and then I'll, I guess I'll follow back for that. One, um, when you said it was a three-star uh, or um, who's going to be potentially reviewing uh, uh, this whole review, um, what does that say about accountability? Does that say that the accountability here, if there were to be any, would be for people at three-star or below but not higher um, what, what does that say to you? And then, and then I guess the, the other follow-up I had was um, on, uh, on the, the strike itself, I, I realize that you don't want to uh, relitigate uh, details of the strike, but I mean, aren't, aren't certain elements of, of what happened uh, still within you know, the, the public's right to know? I mean, I realize that you know, the, the, review of the review has to conclude, but it could be we have no timeline on that. Well, Phil, it, as I said, the only thing holding up the review, it's not even holding it up, is just a selection of a reviewing officer. And then once that officer has been chosen, the secretary expects uh, the review to be done in 45 days. I don't think that's an exorbitant amount of time to to treat with seriousness and with some sense of gravity this particular investigation. As for the tick-tock of the events, I thought General McKenzie did an excellent job Friday walking you through the thought process uh, and as much of the targeting process as he could. He is far, he and his staff are far more able to do that than I am from the podium. And so if there's an additional set of details that you think you need, I would encourage you to reach out to Central Command. As for your other question about the the accountability and the whether a, a three star you know, says some sort of negative message. I would remind you of two things. One, uh, the tasking memo to the Air Force says it, it, it just needs to be an officer at 09 or above. So that's either a three or a four star. And we don't know who the Air Force is going to choose. And it also says in the memo, and I failed to mention this earlier, that if the uh, in, in invest in the reviewing officer uh, believes that there should be a level of accountability at someone at a higher rank than he or she, um, the reviewing officer needs to uh, make note of that uh, to the Secretary of the Air Force and to the Secretary of Defense uh, so, that that's made, so that that's made clear.